नमस्कार ग्लोबल इंडियन न्यूज एंड हैप्पीनेस मैजिक बाय हैरी आवर इनागुरल सेगमेंट ऑफ अनसंग हीरोज वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू वन ऑफ दी रिसाइकल चैंपियंस इन द वर्ल्ड the sustainability expert who helps the nation who helps the environment who generates employment innovation is in his blood smoking is injurious smoking is a habit stopping is a challenge but throwing the cigarette butts easy you know what happens after that nobody cares do you i don't think so right when you go to any place restaurants airport you name it you can see there is a corner with the cigarette butts all over have you ever thought about that what we need to do but a man in noida thought about it and decided to pick all these cigarette butts from all the corners about 300 million cigarette butts he recycled every month i believe about 45 tons of butts he picks from the streets from the places people throw the butts all over i'm very happy to introduce the one and only naman gupta Gupta ji thank you so much for joining with us with the global indian news and the happiness magic by hand tell me about yourself uh, mr naman gupta ji and uh, where you born and where do you live and how did you come up with the code efforts private limited oh there is an effort there is an there is a code So go ahead. Uh, first of all, thank you, Hari Ji, for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to interact with you and uh, share my journey with you and the lovely audience that you have. I am Naman Gupta, and uh, I am currently 28 years old. So, uh, schooling and upbringing wise, uh, I am born and brought up in India. Uh, in India, there is a small city. for noida in the state of uttar pradesh so here uh, all the schooling and all the upbringing was done by me and uh, academically i have commerce background so i did my schooling from vishwabharati public school and then went on to do my bcom bachelor's of commerce from delhi university at that time uh, because like you mentioned that smoking is injurious but is also a habit for a lot of people so luckily i don't have that habit and uh, but i have a lot of people around me in india everywhere not just in india people are smoking and it is difficult for people to 
reduce or quit smoking so when i was at my college time then i realized this problem of uh, inappropriate disposal of cigarette butts and being a non smoker it uh, is generally misconcepted that uh, cigarette butts are cotton and will generally decompose naturally this is a major misconception in the minds of all of us not just others in mind mind also so when i started uh, researching on cigarette butts one fine day i came across a lot of facts that uh, not just in india but globally cigarette butts are the number one littered item that's right and uh, being the number one littered item more than 4.5 trillion cigarette butts are uh, destroying our environment year on year not just a one time thing every year so this number and this was a huge wake up call for us and at that time this made us take action so that we can possibly try to recycle it because we are based in india i don't know about the western or the eastern outside country but uh, in india at that time when we started in 2018 there was no uh, proper disposal like there were no uh, receptacles or bins so that people can throw these cigarettes in a trash can plus there were no recycling mechanisms also so this made us take action and start working towards recycling of cigarette butts and through our commitment and through our continuous efforts within 5 to 6 months we developed a solution through which uh, we were able to recycle the cigarette butts and make it usable for further applications at that time we made a company which we named code effort so this company code effort private limited we have almost crossed 4 years now from 2018 currently it's 2022 so all these 4 years the main uh, ideology and the main mission was and will be the core objective or the mission of the company will be to conserve our depleting environment and this is the full form of code i'll explain you code effort is a collective effort it's not just my individual effort it's a collective effort of all the team and all the public the government bodies corporates everyone you or yourself and the audience who is listening or uh, viewing our story so everybody's efforts are involved in this company of ours code effort and code effort is a collective effort to conserve our depleting environment by eradicating cigarette butts in the most environmentally responsible manner so this is uh, about but the always thought that these butts are made out of cotton so it's like a it's a polymer right so right. you have a process how did you find this process of uh, you know making it to you know to put it in the stuff uh animal and uh, for i think uh, you not only the toys you put it on the cushions and also the mosquito repellent so uh this was just the start when we started on uh, uh recycling cigarette butts we didn't know that we'll be receiving uh the paper and the tobacco also because if you see a cigarette butt it has generally three components one is little bit of tobacco is left over so this tobacco that we receive we convert it into compost powder and this compost powder is sold to the nearby nurseries and gardens so this is the first component the second component is the paper if you have seen cigarette butts it has a generally white or brown color paper covering so we as a recycling company we are not just recycling the polymer we are recycling all the components so the second uh, component that we have of the paper we are currently making two verticals uh, two product verticals out of this uh, paper waste paper 
so one of the product verticals is mosquito repellents which is seasonal because in the indian uh, geography and atmosphere wise uh, a lot of mosquitoes are there during the summers and the monsoon season so it is a seasonal product the mosquito repellents that we make and it is completely certified to be human as well as pet friendly and very efficient for the domestic use uh and plus it's economical even the uh, medium income group uh, people and the below poverty line people can also afford that mosquito repellent okay this is one of the verticals from the paper and the second vertical of the uh, recycled paper is uh, uh, we make stationary items in stationary items we do uh, letter heads and envelopes brochures uh, upcycled diaries so all these are made from the recycled paper and the features of our recycled paper the first and the primary uh, feature is that it is made out of the recycled cigarette waste paper plus we have added seeds to it so once the paper gets used and is thrown away in the landfills or it's if it's ending up in the environment so it does not harm the environment and germinates into a new plant so this is the additional feature that we have for our recycled paper products now coming to the third component that is the fiber generally called fiber which looks like cotton but scientifically it is cellulose acetate which is a form of plastic uh, and a polymer material this is because it's non biodegradable and fiber in nature so it takes more than 10 to 12 years to decompose and this fiber because in a cigarette the primary use of these filters is to absorb a certain amount of chemicals and uh, toxic effluents like tar and nicotine and various other chemicals so once the people have smoked so this filter gets very toxic and if it comes in contact with the soil or the water or anywhere in the environment so it is very lethal and very harmful or hazardous to our environment so to recycle this cigarette polymer we have completely automated process to which we recycle the cigarette butts and we have developed and devised a chemical composition through which we sterilize or we detoxify the uh, cigarette uh, butt polymers so that it is usable as a stuffing material in these uh, stuffed animals or uh, home decor cushions and mattresses so this is the uh, entire process and the final applications of all the three components as a recycling company so the raw materials are plenty and where do you pick them and do you have volunteers to pick them what is this models of a brand on that and also how many millions of cigarette butts you recycle every day every month every year so uh, you rightly mentioned that cigarette butts are uh, available in abundance but the problem lies because it is scattered you won't find uh, thousands of cigarette butts lying on a single uh, in a single area so some are like uh, for example 10 cigarette butts are lying in one place 10 are on the other side 10 are in uh, ending up in the uh, rivers some are on the mount everest so it's scattered so the problem that we first faced was to channelize or uh, efficiently collect these cigarette butts okay so to collect all these cigarette butts we have various mechanisms one of them is to engage directly with the volunteers and rag pickers so whoever wants to volunteer or whoever is the rag picker we work closely with them and we provide them with incentives so that in case they supply us or if they provide us with the raw materials that is cigarette butts we pay them as per the uh, rates that we have uh, set for the the rack pickers and the volunteers so that whatever efforts that they are putting in to collect these cigarette butts that is not uh, going for free it is getting compensated so that 
it gives them a morale or it gives them a boost so that they can put in more efforts to collect more and more quantities okay the second model that we have like when i when i was explaining how we started then i told you that there are no specific bins or trash cans to dispose these cigarette butts so to tackle this problem and to ensure that the cigarette butts are collecting are getting collected at source it is not getting mixed up in the other waste items so we have made our own brand uh we have branded it by the name of b bins b bins is a short form for value bins it is a re- registered trademark so this is a cigarette bin that we have which we provide to cigarette vendors uh corporate companies where there is a specific smoking zone and individual smokers who are smoking at their houses okay so this bin helps us in uh efficiently segregating or collecting at source where the actual cigarette butts are getting disposed plus it helps in consumer behavior change because as a smoker okay. the observation that we have seen or we have experienced if we provide a receptacle to a smoker then they are willing to dispose their cigarette butts but in case if there is no bin then they don't want to throw it in the normal trash can because the other waste can catch fire so it's right. a very common habit that people stub it under their feet and then walk past by that's true <laughs> yeah true. so smokers are having a problem with their habit of smoking but they are also humans so uh, they also care for the environment so that is why they don't throw away that particular uh, cigarette butt in the normal trash can or else you would have seen multiple uh, wildfires every day in the news that would have yes. been the most prominent topic but that is not happening because smokers also realize the fact that if the bin is not there so we should at least uh, stub it off so that it does not create more problems we are already pro- creating problems by smoking and damaging the environment and us also as a smoker okay so this is the other way uh, by providing bins we are able to inculcate consumer behavior change and segregate at source plus the third model is basically a supplier agreement wherein we assign a particular state or a particular area to motivated individuals and uh, msmes so their job or their responsibility is to uh, collect as much cigarette butts or as much volumes as they can and then just transport it to our location in noida this helps us in focusing more on the recycling rather than just going on collecting the cigarette butts so through this model we call it code association this model is very efficient and very very uh helpful for us to scale up because this way we are able to generate bulk quantities and uh, focus on the recycling plus providing money to the suppliers thus making them uh, sustain their livelihoods and empowering them by uh, creating uh, work life balance in their daily routine this is the process that we follow for procurement when we started in 2018 now coming to the numbers wise when we started in 2018 uh, we were uh, because it was a new concept for not just us but for the public also for uh, the users also That's so right. at that time we were generating 10 grams 20 grams per day but currently the uh, minimum quantity that we receive is around 1000 kg per day uh, which is equivalent to 30 to 40 tons per month uh, numbers wise 1 kg will at least require 3500 pieces to make 1 kg so if we are doing 1000 kg per day so multiplied by 3500 around uh, 3.5 million uh, cigarette butts per day is our And current input of the cigarette butts that we are recycling but you have the capability of making more if uh, you get more uh, tons of uh, cigarette butts you know maybe in a great idea from all over india uh, somebody 
collect from each state uh, or each city maybe the big bin and you know with your you know code efforts uh, limited and everybody can throw in that particular center of that city then somebody can you know drive around and collect it and drive to noida i don't know a, because you know collecting these you know individuals or you know they are bringing to noida but it may not be a long term process you may you may be expanding you may need more raw material and you will get lot of i mean you are getting lot of orders and you are moving to other countries <clears throat> so many things happening anyway uh, it is a, a great mission and you are a visionary leader and i'm so happy that you are generating employment and you creating a sustainability among people and changing the environment you are changing the habits of people changing the people thinking it is it, it is uh, something and moreover you you don't have any waste right you recycle all the things that you pick up right so the maximum so, you got a world record for the maximum uh recycling waste right can you explain on that please yes uh, so uh, before uh, explaining the records that we have and the recognitions i'd like to add one thing here that you are correct that uh, in the longer time period once we are able to generate at least 5% or the 10% of the waste that is being generated in india we will start creating hubs so that the transportation also gets reduced we can create uh, hubs for example for southern part southern india we have one factory for the central we have another for the northern part we are already having one location in noida for eastern we can have another but here uh, we require support from the government because this waste management if there is a proper regulation or if there is a proper mechanism like in our case uh, we first have to install the bins then we'll have to assign a person so it gets a very lengthy process in case the government comes up or even uh, mncs or any company uh, comes up and helps us in placing the bins so half of the war is already won that's true because we just we just have to go and just clear up the bins on a daily basis but in, internationally if you go in us or uk or france or multiple countries there are proper bins where people are smoking and there are specific smoking zones where people can smoke in india it's a it's a far fetched approach but that doesn't make a stop currently in india around 26000 tons of cigarettes uh, waste is generated annually which accounts to more than 100 billion cigarette butts and yeah every year and we are currently doing only 1% of the total market size okay so once we scale up and by 2025 if we reach to 300 400 tons per month so that will be equivalent to around 5% of the total market so the opportunity is huge not just in india overseas also so it's just a matter of time and uh, a few uh, like minded people joining hands together so that this problem can be solved at a larger scale now coming to the awards and recognitions uh, we already hold a certification a certified record from limca book of records uh, well recognized in india uh, we will try to attempt for guinness world book of records in the coming financial year so uh, this is one of the uh, major achievement that we have in the startup ecosystem i don't think any of the startups um, will be having such kind of a record under their belt or in their uh, in their hat as a feather uh, as an achievement they might have raised a lot of funding but uh, uh, we have raised a lot of uh, appreciation and we have raised a lot of uh, goodwill for the company because the concept that we are doing is not doable for each and every person it requires a lot of commitment and it requires a lot of uh, teamwork 
so right. our team is determined enough to work themselves and they want to recycle and they want to uh, make their uh, country or make their state cigarette butts free so it is just the commitment that requires to make any business successful and you know that should be the mission of each and every country each and every city each and every village and each and every person in this world and uh, sustainability partners uh, will come i'm sure about that which uh, city there are a lot of business people they would like to do certain things like this but we need to identify those who really want to and also it is a uh, advertisement for them if they put a big uh, bin in the part of the city and they can put their name along with the code of words you know we are joining the campaign of the code of words and we are coding your life for some uh, you know uh, tag line they can they can come up with right and when it, 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 like you said it is it's a very challenging uh, situation honestly and at least one person and your team came into this picture i am sure that people will think about you know the waste in addition to the cigarette waste and all the waste that they throw you know all over wherever they walk and wherever they drive you know there's matter picnics and things like that and when you look at the polluted rivers and in the, the, the buds you know is not decomposed uh, you know in 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 a short time right it is take lot of i mean i don't know how many years many plastic it's like a plastic waste i believe so coming back to your structure and coming back to your uh, operations it is do you have any quality control is it any product coming out of uh, this have any harm uh, or any other issues of that kind please right yes so uh, because we as a recycler uh, we don't uh, play with the goodwill of the company plus we want that the product that is going in the market should be safe to use for the consumers because if the product is not good or if it's having any quality defects or any problems then the uh, business takes a toll and it is difficult for the business to grow okay so we are doing for the society our mission is very true uh, towards the environment but we are here to do business okay we as a company i believe in entrepreneurship so it is the core aspect we follow i can explain you uh, we follow a 3p policy uh, this 3p is basically uh, to procure process and uh, produce the final products okay so all these three p the first p is to procure basically to procure cigarette parts the second p is to process or to recycle cigarette parts and the third p is to produce the final products from the recycled materials but there is a hidden core value behind all these p's i'll explain you in briefly all the three p's the first one that i told you of procure this is people driven that's right why i am saying people driven because to procure cigarette butts we require a team effort it is not an individual task it requires a lot of team so it is a people driven uh, ideology the second p of processing is passion driven i have the passion to recycle cigarette butts okay even if i had not started of recycling cigarette butts i would have taken up some other material and in the future even if we stabilize and if, even if we st- uh, saturate in this domain of cigarette waste management and recycling we'll start working on other waste items also so cigarette butts is not the end for code efforts this is just the start so second p of process is passion driven and the third p of producing the uh, final products is profitability driven because any business requires economics and requires finance to run and survive in the market no no business can survive without the funding or without the money 
any business anything even if you start a grocery store you will require funds okay so why we produce the final products is so that we can generate revenues which we can later infuse in expanding our business now coming to your question of quality control so because we are a very holistic we follow very holistic approach in our business model so we have three iso certifications first one is iso 9001 this is to ensure that the pro, uh, the products that we are making are quality certified and are managed properly so whatever the final products we are making the quality is ensured okay and regular audits happen for all the three isos the second iso is 14001 that is for environment safety like if we are trying like we are trying to recycle cigarette butts okay but is it that the process that we are following is it further damaging the environment or is it environment friendly okay that is the major concern by recycling one part uh, like if we are recycling cigarette butts and damaging the air or water so i guess that is not a viable business or a environment friendly business okay so in our case we are iso 14001 certified which means that we as a company or we as a recycling company our process is environment friendly okay now the third and the most uh, all of the isos are important but the third one i consider the most important that is iso 45001 this is employee safety because the people who work at our location at our factory in noida they are very uh, uh, in, very much in contact with the waste and cigarette butts is a waste that is coming in direct contact with the people's mouth and uh, after covid it gets more difficult uh, and more challenging for our people to manage such kind of waste that is coming in direct contact with the humans okay so the third iso of 45001 is for employee safety that is like whatever processes and whatever uh, practices that we follow for recycling these cigarette butts that is completely employee safety uh, creating employee safety and ensuring that the people who are working in these conditions are getting treated and uh, getting all the amenities so that they are feel they feel safe in working these environments plus uh, as an addition we follow regular lab testing for the final finished uh, raw materials like if we have recycled cigarette fibers so we send a sample of cigarette fibers every month to certified labs so that they can test the uh, sample that we have provided if they state that this sample is completely toxin free then only we use that particular batch in making the final product in case the cert- uh, certification says that this batch is not treated completely then we further recycle it and then send it again to the certification and once the approval comes in then only we provide it to our uh, team members to make the final products so this is how we maintain all the quality check you are a social entrepreneur that means you have social responsibility in your mind before you are doing anything in you know so uh, you know what is your uh, vision about your company okay so uh, vision wise uh, when we started uh, in 2018 i'll give you a complete experience uh, wise because the long term vision like i mentioned is to conserve our depleting environment and we have focused on cigarette butts because that is the least uh, recycled material and the most ignored item even if it's the most littered item it is also the most ignored item like people tend to uh, tend to accept it as a phenomena or as a culture that throwing cigarette butts on the land is absolutely right accepted. yes so being the number one littered item it is also the most ignored uh, form of waste okay so long term vision is to uh, recycle uh, waste items and provide a circular economy 
so that the sustainable development goals that we have uh, designed and uh, that are available uh, for companies to follow so at least by uh, implementing such uh, activities and doing such kind of recycling project that helps in creating a benchmark for other companies to follow and to create an ecosystem where we are able to uh, create inclusivity and yeah uh, so that all the companies and all the people who are living on this planet feel safe and the environment is also green and clean okay so this is the long term vision but in the short term period because the dynamics and the job uh, the scenarios change very quickly when in 2018 we started we didn't have any clue of uh, uh, covid coming in so at that time uh, we were thinking that we will scale up at a very large pace but after covid a lot of operations changed okay the working style changed earlier we used to work 9 to 10 uh, 10 to 6 or uh, 9 to 5 from the factory but after covid uh, we are working on hybrid mode okay uh, uh, either we are going to work uh, sometime sometime we are working from home uh, it's completely changed okay so the scenario changed so in 2018 to uh, 2020 the primary focus was to create awareness regarding cigarette butts because that was very low and to channelize the collection model so that we have a continuous flow of raw materials okay 2020 to currently 2022 with the current focus is to create a balance between the input and the output we have a regular supply of raw materials now we are working towards uh, gaining momentum in making the final products and create more and more product categories so that we increase our uh, catalog and we increase our offerings so that the customers or the clients that we have they are able to choose from various uh, uh, ranges of sustainable items and which helps us in uh, increasing our revenue so in this financial year we are currently focusing on corporate and b2b orders plus e-commerce uh, uh, sales also so that uh, we can create a balance and later on expand to more and more quantities of reselling how is your export market Ex- export wise we have recently started export requires a lot of paperwork initially so we have done all the paperwork and seeing a good response from the outside market so eventually if we get uh, connects to other companies outside india so that's a win win for all of us of course and uh, we can uh, try to work with you to see whatever areas that we can connect another thing that i would like to strongly suggest to contact united nations and united nations have lot of uh, environmental sustainability uh, efforts and uh, waste management what were the connections we have we can share at the same time uh, that's you know in addition to the Guinness world record and uh, united nations recognition support and that will help for all other countries to be in line with your uh, vision and then they make it as a mission so seriously think about that and uh, you know you said about uh, you know passion is uh, talked about ppp right pro you know procurement process and productivity and can i call you as a ppp passionate positive person that is the ppp i give you our uh, company would like to give you ppp and also i always say that you need to be an lcc you good a uh, good listener communicator and a change agent you are a ppp and lcc and you are a visionary one thing and i strongly feel it is i'm talking from the bottom of my heart any business i do a lot of interviews you know um international figures national figures local figures in uh, malayalam and english one thing i would like to applaud you that your conceptual clarity 
anything that you do any any person any business you need to have the fundamentals of the business right why we are doing that and how we are doing that and when we are going to do that and what would be the result but you put it together you know sustainability you know recycling generating employment helping the nation creating awareness and changing the habit and you are absolutely right no, nobody thought about that right i mean it is it is like uh, most littered and most ignored right and uh, uh, li <laughs> it is the li phenomena of uh, of the world and um, we are so happy to talk to you and we wanted to know more about and we would like to be in touch with you and uh, you know person like you we we if we can clone you and we would like to clone you and and at uh, last and uh, not least in importance let me ask you tell me about your family please so uh, family wise uh, uh, i have been uh, born and brought up in noida only and uh, uh sustained by my beautiful parents i have one elder brother who has already always helped me in uh, developing the company uh, the scope effort private limited and he is one of the other directors in the company also so he has technical background so the machinery and all the technology that we require to recycle the cigarette butts is his uh, uh idea and his uh, expertise so and we share a very good bond with each other so we come from a very uh, middle class family but uh, uh, that doesn't stop us from uh, exploring the uh, opportunities that lie in front of us and because we are a very open minded uh, family so uh, even if there's some hurdle or even if there's some challenge anybody is facing we talk it out very clearly we sit together and uh, we discuss on the matters that are important for the family to survive and to uh, grow as a family and this is how uh, my journey has been uh, with my parents and mother and oh. whatever i have i am currently here it is all because of my family because if they haven't supported me so i i don't think uh, anybody would have supported me at that time so they are my mentors and they will always be my mentors forever so you have a blessed parent syndrome that's a good thing the same way your parents have a blessed children syndrome and that is the combination that is part of life and today we have a unsung hero but he is our hero and this is the inaugural segment of uh, global indian news and happiness magic by hari on the unsung heroes we talk to mr naman gupta from noida the the person trying to change the world and trying to change himself trying to help people and today we are blessed so we have a blessed hero syndrome so we have he has the blessed parent syndrome and we are his parents have the blessed children syndrome and we will continue our efforts to spread the word of positivity spread the word of goodness goodwill and try to do the best we can we have to live with the purpose life is too short and movies are too long we will come back with another topic till then bye from hari namudri macallan texas thank you